Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBP Nerd video series on linked list interview question series and this question is about find the intersection point of two linked lists. So here one thing is important that it is obvious that there are two linked lists. So this is P1 and this is going to be your P2. So this is your first pointer which is pointing to the head of your first linked list which is start here and end here and another one start here but there is this intersection. So it is something like this. Okay. So here is the intersection. So this is your intersection point. And believe me, there are so many ways you can achieve. I mean, find this node and we are going to see one of the best solution. And I think that is the actual best solution. So that's why I'm taking that as a solution here. Okay. So the point is you find the count of this list first. So if you'll count how many nodes are there in this list, there are six nodes. So it will be like, Let's call this C1 is 6. So if you will find the count of this linked list, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's make this C2 is equal to 5. Now minus 1 from another one. So for simplicity, I'll do this C1 minus C2. And this is never going to be negative. Okay. So this is ABS. I mean, absolute function. So the difference would be 1. So 6 minus 5 or 5 minus 6. As this is absolute, it is going to be one. So once you get this number, you increment the bigger list pointer that many times. So this P1 will get incremented that many times. So one time means it is pointing to this node now. So ultimately what is happening, both pointers P1 and P2 are pointing to the node from that node to end node distance is five. Calculate this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is what we wanted. After doing this operation, you put them in the loop and check whether the address of these two pointers are equal. No, it is not equal. You increment them by 1. Sorry, this will be P1. And this is going to be P2. Now you check 300, 800. No, you increment this P1 here and this will go here. Is it equal? Yes, because both are pointing to the same one and you got it. Hey guys, it's time for a quick pause and what you're seeing right now is my Patreon page. So if you don't know what is Patreon, it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return, you get rewards. So if you join me, I can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and I'll still have something for you. So do visit my Patreon page and see if you like it. And if you want to discontinue anytime, you can do that. So if you have already visited my Patreon page, let's continue our video now. Correct? And this is what I feel is the easiest and lesser time complexity because M plus N is the time complexity where M is the length of one linked list and another N is the another one's length and the space complexity is also one. Okay. Because we are not using any space here. So this is the best solution. What I think, let me know what you think about this solution. So do you think this is a good solution? and let me know in the comment section so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care and yeah don't forget to hit the like button